Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, episode. What is good YouTube? Your boy Monificent coming back with another quick video. Today we got the Tauros Cool Fire Air Unit that pretty much goes around your neck and keeps you cool even in the hottest of days. This is the device that I highly recommend, especially if you're looking for that true device that can take heat in and then blast out pretty much some cold air. Uh, and what it does, and the reason why this one is going to be able to do that, this is the 2024 Coolify Air version. I think some people were looking for that in the Coolify 2S and also the Tauros Coolify Cyber, but these devices are more skin, direct skin contact, meaning they have different zones, like features different zones around the actual device that kind of sit across your neck, but it's designed for direct skin. So that means that with these devices, you're going to get direct coldness straight out of the box as soon as you turn it on because it's basically these zones they are pretty much attached to your skin um with this you're going to get more so of a cold air blast so you're looking for something to intake the air and then output it through its vents let's get straight into this and actually before we even get the unboxing done we can actually go over the features of this which i think is pretty cool this does feature the ku 2.0 chip the processing power that is utilized for the motor to keep everything going in uh, again it's taking the heat in uh, from the back or the rear of this device with 36 different vents that are broken out in nine different spots on the actual unit i'll get into that momentarily um, it does have a bladeless fan option so you don't have to worry about your hair getting caught up in the blades of a fan um, that's a cool feature. Um, and if you're looking for in terms of the power information, well, I can tell you right now, if you're looking for to utilize the fan portion, remember the fan, the cooling and the heat all have three different levels. So it depends on how you utilize this device, which determines the actual battery output it's going to take. Now, this does feature a 5000 milliamp battery. Um, and then the max amount of charge you can get at a time. This is a 10 watt. Whereas, you know, you look on another device like the Tauros Coolify Cyber, and this can take a 20 watt uh, charge, which means that this can charge a little bit faster than this. So just keep in mind, a full charge will take you two hours. If you decide to utilize the fan portion, it can go anywhere from three and a half to eight hours. If you decide to utilize the cooling portion, depending on the usage or the level you're using, you can get anywhere from two to four hours of usage. I will say that to say this, should you decide that you do not have enough power, I'm here to say that the Coolify Air supports power pass through. So if you have an external power bank or external source like a lithium battery, you can connect that to this while using the device, it'll actually charge. So that is one of the cool things. Basically, you'll be able to extend the time to utilize on this device, whether you're using the cool, heating, or even the fan option, which is phenomenal. So with that all said and done and out the way, this, in my opinion, is probably one of their best designs, at least the upgraded 2024 model, uh, mainly because of its capabilities. Now, this is kind of like a paper cover. For those that didn't know, it kind of just slides up. And of course, it does have this kit, or at least this box that will open up. And I'm going to say that to say this. It's one of those things that if you are out and about and you're looking for something to keep you cool, especially in those hot days, because we do have, this is kind of like the summertime where it's very, very hot. Uh, I do like the feature where you can take pretty much the heat coming in from the external back. And let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this has a couple of outlets, and I can tell you right now, when you look at the box, the presentation, pretty much it's so easy to come out. Um, the pamphlet and the instructions are towards the middle. Um, it does feature a USB, I think it's a Class C charging cord, which it is right here. But it is USB-C on both sides. So just keep that in mind. And of course, you got the instructional manual right in here. We're going to put this down right here and get straight into it. Now, this is what I was talking about. When you're looking at the features, and ooh, so easy to turn on. When you're looking at the features of this device, uh, one of the things that's gonna pop out is the exterior. So the exterior is where the heat comes in. And this is what I was talking about in terms of the outlet, at least the vents 
that are designed to do exterior push out. So 36 different vents. And this is what makes this device so powerful because it's nine on each side, as you can see right here, and you flip it over, there's nine more. All that air coming in, depending on the power of the fan, um, is basically going to be able to take that hot air in and then kind of blast the cold air out towards you. And you can see that there's a reason why there's nine on each side, at least 18 on each side, is because it has bi-directional flow. So you'll be able to not only stay cool, you know, airflow going below you is going to go above you as well. This is ergonomic and it is actually really, really easy to put on. Now, I will say that this features the silicone, as you can see right here, silicone straps on each side. Uh, normally on the, I want to say the Taurus Cyber, it's the same strap, but it kind of reforms or takes its shape back. I felt like this was kind of an added bonus where you can actually take the strap and, you know, sit it tight towards your neck, but you can adjust it as needed. So depending on the air and how you want it to blow, you have that option to move it at will, which I think is actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but you can see right here, this is where the bladeless fan is kind of going against you. This is, this is fantastic. I am, I'm astonished. And of course you do have the class USC port on the actual bottom. Now, I'm going to show you the functionality of the actual device itself. You'll see a video right here. Um, you'll see that this kind of lights up right here, uh, indicating the actual battery that you have left on the actual device. Uh, three different batteries. You can tell if it's at that last low light. And let's just say you decide <laughs> you're going to need something like an external battery to help keep you going. This is definitely what you need. Of course, you got the power. This controls the power and the fan, so I just want to let everybody know. But if you keep hitting the power button kind of like three times, it'll shift through the actual fan level. So one level fan, two level fan, three. Now, if you want the airflow to work in conjunction with the actual air conditioning, or at least the cooling mechanism, you can hit the power button, but then also you want to hit that cooling effect. And keep in mind, each different feature has three different levels. So if you press that button again, you'll be at level two of Arctic. Press it again, you'll be at level three. Now, why I'm, I'm kind of saying that to say that's because if the fan has three different levels, um, the Arctic Blast has three different levels, you want to make sure that if you're, if you're looking for the coldest amount of airflow amongst you, bi-directional, you would probably want this on three, as well as the fan on three at the same time. That'll basically, you can hear it. It is very quiet, uh, in, in my opinion. I think that, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say it was 31 decibels is where it came out in terms of the actual sound, which is actually really good. If you decide that you want to just do heat only, uh, the cool thing about this is that the last button on here, again, you'll see the video display, uh, is the heat. And of course, this also has three different settings. Now, if you look on the back, you can see that this one has a cooling zone as well as a heat zone. So if you decide, I don't want the fan, I just want to keep the rear of my neck conditioned for heat or conditioned for cooling, that's when you don't want to engage the fan. You do have that option again to hit the kind of the, the heat button. And if you just want the cooling effect towards the back, you can see you can kind of hear it on you can use the cooling fan and use the rear of the actual zone for this device. Again, I am pleasantly surprised. And I know some people are wondering, well, does this have Bluetooth? And the reason why I'm saying that is because if you look on, let me put this right here. If you look against the Coolify 2S, you look at the Tauros Cyber, these two feature Bluetooth because they can work against the Tauros app. Now, this does not have Bluetooth. So I just wanna put that out there. So if you're looking for, you know, what are the difference between all three devices? And like I said, it depends on what you're looking for. Uh, if you're looking for the actual zone on top of that airflow, this is the device that you wanna utilize because you go outside, again, you're just taking that heat in, 
blasting through 36 different vents to create that cooling effect around your face. If you're looking for direct contact, then the Coolify Cyber as well as the Coolify 2S will be something that you'll consider. And also consider this, the Coolify Air has one cooling zone. The Coolify 2S has two cooling zones features on each side. Not one on the rear, but one on each side. And I can tell you right now, I've used this a lot, especially outside, because the purpose of this, as I said before, it can do fan, they can all do fan heat and air conditioning, but the zones is what is gonna be utilized against your skin to create that cooling effect instantaneously towards your skin versus having the air, kind of the cold air all around your face. And I think this is where cyber separates itself from both of this because the cyber gives you the ability not to, or the ability not to actually just utilize the three different zones, but you can interchange each zone individually. So this has a rear and side zone that you can interchange between heat, cold, and the fan. So you could have one zone could be heat, one zone could be you know, your cold and one zone could be your fan. Not that you would do something like that, but you know, it, this, it gives you that flexibility to interchange. And this also features a 6,000 milliamp battery against the KU 3.0 chip. So you can get a lot of bang for your buck from any single one of these devices. It depends on what you're utilizing it for. So again, if you're looking for that cold Arctic blast around your face, then I would suggest going with the Coolify air unit. If you're looking for just direct contact specifically towards the side, you want to be able to utilize the, the, you know, the, the contact zones, then hey, maybe the Coolify 2S might be, uh, be able to get the, the job done. The only thing is that when you're looking at the Cyber, and again, you're looking at the 2S, the 2S has the cooling zones, but when you interchange between the heat, the hot, in the cold, you're changing both sides at the same time. You won't be able to kind of go through any one of them. It's basically just one setting. Uh, the app has a kind of added bonus where instead of going through three different levels, you can interchange in between those three levels uh, as you're adjusting on the app. So there's definitely advantages to all three. Again, it really depends on direct contact to the skin or are you looking for that Arctic blast that comes with the Coolify Air. Me perfectly, I mean, honestly, it depends on the person. That's all I can say, but there's definitely advantages to all three of these. And I feel like the Coolify Air, at least the 2024 upgraded version, since it features that back rear plate with the upgraded technology of the actual battery, I feel like you're, you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck with the Coolify Air. I think a lot of people go outside and they love that feeling of getting that air blasted around your face. And you can do the same with this, but you gotta keep in mind, these two devices have about nine different vents on it. So, you know, you got nine different vents compared to 36. I mean, you do the math. <laughs> so you're gonna get more of a blast for air from the Coolify Air. Comment below, let me know. Will you be going after the Taurus Coolify Air, at least this version, or are you going to go after the Taurus S, I want to say the 2S, as well as the actual Cyber? Again, I will link the description. In the link in the description, I'll leave pretty much details of what you can do in order to purchase, if not one, maybe all three. Who knows, you know, some people are curious about that, but if you're looking for 20% off any one of these devices, click the link below. Again, use Coolify 20 and get yourself 20% off any one of these products. And I can tell you right now, this is going to be a life changer. Again, this is something that I would recommend to anybody that works at UPS, FedEx, USPS. You're always outside, you're delivering things. This is a perfect solution. If you're outside in general doing yard work, this is a perfect solution. You want to make sure your body is basically regulated in terms of temperature to avoid seizures or having hot flashes, things like that. All three of these devices will work and you'll definitely feel satisfied. But your boy, Melvin said, I am out for now. As we review the Toros Coolify Air Unit, 
I do have another video where I kind of went over the Toros Coolify Cyber as well as the Toros Coolify 2S. I am out. And you guys, stay blessed. Thank you.